Yeah, I think it was a bowler-friendly pitch. Typical Wanderers pitch, to be honest. Uh, I think the boys that have played here long enough, they said this is what you expect at the Wanderers, especially the first morning. Expect a lot of movement, you know. It's almost like a first session for the bowlers. So um, I think we just had to weather it down a bit this morning. So, yeah. It's lovely to be back, obviously, playing for the Titans. But uh, just all in all, uh, very happy today with the way I bowled. I was actually very nervous before I went out to bowl, but uh, the coach chatted to me and he just told me, you know, perform, do the basics. And when I went out there, there was a lot of assistance in the wicket and I made sure I exploited that as much as I could. Uh, I just hit a good area and the ball did the rest. A green wicket like this, it's one of those, one ball's got your number on it. So you've just got to be positive in your movements, get into good positions and yeah, play and miss as many times as possible. And when you do, when they do bowl, lose balls, put them away. I think that's just normally the trick with green wickets. It was very exciting. Uh, we saw it jag around within the first few balls, so I knew it was going to be an interesting test, and I happened to come out on top. He presents the seam well, and I think a wicket like this, if you present the seam, you get the most movement out of, you know, even you could see later on in the afternoon at about 2 o'clock, he was still extracting movement and bounds. And that's mainly because he presents the seam and he hits the pitch, and he's got a height advantage than most bowlers. But I think... As I've always said, I think seeing presentation on good wickets on a good area, you're going to have many batsmen troubled. If we had batted maybe and we were three down at lunch, I think it would have really, we would have had a chance of putting 250 to 80 on the board. But having said that, I think you can't take anything away from the bowlers. I thought they bowled really well. Bjorn batted fantastically, actually. I thought he came in and he asserted himself well at the wicket and he was positive throughout. And I think they also tried to bowl him out, which also helped and they gave him a lot of balls on the legs. and. Credit to him, he batted really well and put away the bad balls. Yeah, the new ball does play a massive role, but also I'd say there's enough in the wicket if you if you if you hit it very hard, you know the good areas that you bowl. In general, you'll get something out of it, but you you've actually got to run in and bowl. You can't actually float it up. So, but the new ball does work very well. I mean, yeah, it worked out very well for myself. So. It's helped, but I think if we extremely critical, we could have also had them four down, five down overnight. You know, we didn't bowl as well as we could. We had we created enough chances, you know. Um, so I think if we extremely critical, we'd be thinking to ourselves tomorrow we've got a window of an hour or so if, to make inroads, get into the middle order. And if we do that, I think we could have a very interesting game where it could be 180 plays 200, and then the second innings will determine almost the winner.